Hello and welcome. If you are wanting to travel, you are 100% in the right place. Absolutely you are. And we're thrilled to be here with you today and to share some of the things that have really helped change our lifestyle. Uh, and we know it's going to do the same for you. So settle in. I hope you're excited about being here as much as we're excited about having you here. Yes, today we promise to show you how you can travel the world for as long as you like without spending all of your savings or racking up huge credit card bills. That's going to be a good thing. So to uh, get started, we need to ask that you please turn off any distractions because the more attention you give, the more you are absolutely going to get out of this. And maybe pick up a pen and paper because you may wish to take some notes. Are you ready? Because it's time to forget what you think or believe is real and to smash the perception that travel is expensive. We guarantee this new paradigm will absolutely change the way you travel forever. And we've had a direct experience ourselves. We started this whole full-time traveling journey, wait for it, with just 300 bucks to our name. Crazy, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> and with absolutely no credit cards, no savings, and no income stream. That sounds mental. So who are we? We're actually Nat and Jody, but it's Jody speaking at the moment, and I'm the one who's on the left. Yep, and it's Nat here, and I'm on the right, just so you know who we are. <laughs> so we're full-time international travellers and have been since 2013, and so far we've lived together in 17 different countries on four continents. And we've also inspired and taught hundreds of other travel lovers how to follow their dreams of a travel lifestyle, saving a fortune with the exact same travel hacks that we use. And the ones we're going to share with with you today but yeah it was tough for us in the beginning absolutely three hundred dollars to your name when you're in your 40s is not cool that's for sure so we went from survival mode big time to immense gratitude eventually and to asking why the hell did we start doing this earlier <laughs> Over the last four years, we've had a couple of summers in Barbados and in Peru, has spent fall in Costa Rica twice. And we've had two winters in Greece. That was stunning. Look at that, right on the Aegean Sea. That nice place to work. Really lovely. Uh, spring in France, and we had three times in Colorado in the snow. It was we so do cool. love the snow. <laughs> so where is it that you would love to spend a season or two? Yeah, there's a good question. Maybe even write those down if you have got a pen and paper. Now's the time to uh, say yes and actually start writing down some of those places that you would love to go to. We are going to share some strategies with you, but this is really about dream building and really changing your paradigms about what's realistic for you and what's possible for you in travel right now. So let's start thinking about this. Because you really can do this. Absolutely you can. And we're going to show you exactly how to do it and what has worked not only for us, but for hundreds of other world travelers. So this is where we're supposed to say results aren't typical. This is our disclaimer. But really, it's as simple as making a choice, busting some false beliefs, which is exactly what we're going to do today. And then, of course, nothing happens unless you take some action. So today is all about taking some action. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right. So common travel beliefs. This is what it is that we're wanting to bust out here. First one is that travel is a luxury that costs a lot of money and big trips may only be a once in a lifetime experience. International flights are expensive and booking air miles is not only the most confusing thing on the planet, it's also hard and takes too long to collect enough points to actually even make it worthwhile. And the third one is that accommodation costs are extreme. Um, There's probably a little bit of truth in that because yeah. you're either going to travel like a backpacker to save money or pay an absolute fortune if you want some sort of luxury. Yep. And for most people, the thought of a full-time travel lifestyle, exactly like we've got, is even more of a pipe dream and reserved truly only for the very wealthy. We once believed all the same things. In fact, that's why we left Australia and moved to Dubai in 2011. So we went there with the intention. I was actually offered a job there. But the main driving force was to pay off all our credit cards, uh, save up a bunch of money, and then we could go traveling. We'd go and do what we really, really wanted to do and live the lifestyle we wanted. So we actually got ourselves settled up in a, a really nice apartment uh, at the Dubai Marina. It's actually in this building here, looking over Dubai Marina. And we figured we'd be here for a while, but we'd be able to do some really great trips uh, to other parts of the Middle East or to Europe because it's, you know, pretty close. Um, that was the grand master plan. You know, we, we, were, we were here to be here for as long as it took to be able to live at our travel dreams. Yep. So there was just one little glitch. Nat had a residency visa that came with her job, but I didn't. And I was sort of like doing border runs every 30 days and starting to, to look into what I was going to do. And then Nat's boss came along and said to us, hey, I need to get some more residency visas. You need one. I need a few more. Let's set up a company. So we rented an office and this was our office space. We made it look a bit like home because uh, <laughs> I'd actually been working from home for a while. So we wanted it to look a bit more like home. But it meant that our 
rent was actually more than double. It was probably triple now. We had our own apartment plus an office space. Um, and really what had happened was uh, Nat's boss actually became an ex-business partner as well. And yeah, it was a, definitely a failed plan. In the end, um, our business partner, who was my ex-boss at the time, and he was a good friend um, as well, he left us in the lurch just after three months of starting the company. And in Dubai, you can't actually shut a company down within the first 12 months and everything was on 12 month leases. So our, our office, our telephones, our internet, everything had to still be paid for the next uh, nine months. And we were just left going, what on earth are we going to do? Our clients weren't paying, we had huge overheads. And it did get to the point where we almost ended up in debt jail, which is what happens in Dubai when you don't pay your bills. So it was a really, really scary place to be. So at the end of 16 months, we were literally just completely distressed about our finances, our emotional health. We put ourselves through the ringer, absolutely. It was, it was probably the lowest point I think I have ever been in my life. I just couldn't see a way out. I couldn't even see how we could live day to day, let alone have a you know a travel lifestyle, which is why we'd actually gone there in the first place. <laughs> it was a really, really tough time. You know, what were our options back in Australia? To go home and live with Jodie's mum and dad. Instead, though, an opportunity came up for us to uh, head to the UK and Europe, and that was an opportunity to live rent free, which we took as being, you know, a gift uh, in order for us to clear our heads, get back on our feet. It was a tough time and did we make a desperation decision or did we actually choose? But I also think too, you know, we would have to get a job uh, in a, back in Australia and we'd sort of end up back exactly where we started. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look at these beliefs in more detail. We're going to count them down here. <laughs> <laughs> so travel is a luxury that costs a lot of money and big destinations may only be a once in a lifetime experience. It's not unusual either to be spending, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars on a big travel destination. And that's why the, the belief is that some of these destinations are once in a lifetime. Like, yeah, you, know, you could only could... afford to do it once in a lifetime. Exactly. <laughs> so busting that one. All right, that's gone. Okay, <laughs> our, our reality. reality is we travel the world full time for 70 percent less than it costs us to live at home what <laughs> have a think about that 70 percent less than it was costing us to live in australia dubai i don't think it really matters where we were living and it's cost us 70 percent less to actually travel the world so let's have a quick look at all the places we've been over the past four years and how much it's actually cost us because purely the amount that we've spent will blow your mind So totals for over the four years, number of countries visited is 28. Now that includes the re repeats, obviously. Uh, flights and transport, 9335. Accommodation, 1220 each. And that's a total of $10,555 for four years. Yeah, and that's four years full time too. That's not, you know, taking breaks and stuff like that as most people do. This is actually full time travel. So that's $21,000 for the two of us for four years of travel. How much would our accommodation have cost if we'd stayed in one place? So if we were in Australia, I was paying rent. I was paying $15,600 a year in rent for one bedroom in a four bedroom shared house. So in Dubai, we picked up that beautiful apartment at the marina, um, which was still pretty affordable compared to what Nat was paying in Sydney. So it was just over $300 a week, uh, so $16,000 a year in rent for a one bedroom apartment. Now this is rent alone, so you definitely have to add a whole lot more on top of this for your utility costs like electricity and your internet, water, depending on where you are in the world as to you know whether you're paying things like gas, etc. as well. Yep. So instead, we've traveled around the world over the past four years at a little over the cost of renting for just one year with an average annual spend of just $2,750 each. And naturally, we still have to eat, uh, so we haven't mm. included food and entertainment in there because you enjoy those things even if you're at home. Yeah, but we're not the only ones that have done this, so you know this is not unusual. Talon Windwalker from OneDadOneKid.com told us that travelling the world with his son costs a quarter of his fixed location expenses of living in the USA. 
Yep, and we've recently chatted to Mike and Anne, and you might know them from Honey Track. It's a very big uh, travel blog, and they're really well-known guys. Spend, on average, just $16 a day to travel the world. But the funny part is that they actually started their travel journey as part of their honeymoon. Yes. <laughs> and so they budgeted $50 a day back when they started in 2012 and pretty much now are on the longest honeymoon ever because they just haven't stopped. They yep. just kept going. But that, that daily budget has gone down more and more every year. Yeah. So how do we do this? This is where we get into the strategies. This it? is how do, how do we all do it? How do we all do it? Exactly. All right. So belief number two, international flights are expensive. And using air points is hard and takes too long to collect enough to make it worthwhile. Wrong! <laughs> Our reality is that we spend on average, as we said before, just over $2,500 each on flights and transport for a full year of world travel. We have traveled on average to seven countries each year and have never used air miles to book a flight because we actually don't have credit cards anymore. So we actually do have to purchase our flights. But last year we did nine countries, as you saw, and it was our cheapest year for transport. If you suspected that there are cheaper ways to book flights, I mean, it must be pretty obvious, <laughs> then you are absolutely right. <laughs> Most people just don't know that there are strategies available to get cheap flights, let alone take the time to understand and learn them. To be honest, we do have an unfair advantage. Jody does have a background in travel and tourism. Yeah, but we continue to learn uh, more flight and travel hacks, particularly from our good friends Beck from Nomad Fly and Travis from Extra Pack of Peanuts. Now, that photo of Travis there was something that we were quite jealous of. Because we don't have the air points, as we talked about, yep. we miss out on some of the things that uh, he gets all the time, which is having a nice little bump up to business class and getting to lay down on a transatlantic flight. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look at where Jody finds our cheap flights. So if you haven't used this site before, it's just basically it's a uh, flight aggregator. So it's using what's out there that's being advertised by all the different um, airlines and seeing what specials they've got. So there's a whole bunch of strategies that in particular Beck goes into more detail as to, you know, when you should be looking at things and, and um, how this actually works. But just to show you some really quick things here that I do. Um, I tend to look at one way, so it's showing up Toronto Island here, but if we were to look at flying out of Montreal, which is close to where we are at the moment, and sometimes I just like to look and see everywhere. So the Everywhere Search on Skyscanner is a great feature, uh, one that we absolutely love because it's really opened us up to other destinations that we could use to actually get to our final destination. Yeah, that's it. Um, but just having a quick look, basically the next step is, you know, if we're looking at going from Canada to Mexico and it'll show up um, the destination cities of, of where it is that you can fly into. So the only other thing I'll quickly show you here is you can actually search the whole month um, and that purely just allows you to see, you know, what's going to be the cheapest days uh, to fly from. Wow, look at that. Sorry, I need to pull this up. That <laughs> any time in April you can get to Iceland for $101. Woohoo! That's, that's pretty sweet. It <laughs> is a really sweet deal. It is. And of course, there are the amazing frequent flyer strategies that will have you paying no more than $100 to fly anywhere in the world. So imagine if you set aside just $500 for flights. Or well, how about $1,000? That's not a huge amount of money. We could go to Iceland 10 times. Exactly. <laughs> so where would you love to go? Iceland 10 times. So now we've showed you a couple of things just to sort of wet your whistle, uh, but there's a whole bunch more. So here we are. Belief number one. Accommodation costs are extreme. You either travel like a backpacker to save money or pay a fortune if you want some luxury. Bum, bum. Wrong. <laughs> Our reality is that for the past four years, we've enjoyed 97% free accommodation all over the world and have never stayed in a backpackers or Yay. hostel, much to Nat's <laughs> absolute pleasure. <laughs> so how have we done this? Well, it's all been through house sitting. So you've probably actually already done some form of house sitting for usually for a family member or a friend, or you've actually had somebody come into your home while you're going away and take care of the home and the pets. So that's house sitting. That's it. And Nat, you've done actually heaps of house sitting for friends. And it's funny, one friend that Nat did um, house sitting for probably at least once every year is now full time house sitting herself all That's the way true. <laughs> she, she had some birds I looked after. But, so I've actually done some house sitting in the sense of what we're talking about here, which is house sitting for people you don't know. And it was in Australia. I needed to go to Sydney for a work contract. Um, and I just did not want to pay the exorbitant prices that Sydney has mm, yep. uh, for accommodation. So I hopped on 
onto this house sitting platform, you know, back in 2010 and got my first house set, but never realized that that particular house sitting platform is actually an international platform. I never looked beyond where it is that I needed to go. I needed a place in Sydney, so I only looked for Sydney. So we had a literal <laughs> sparkling face palm moment <laughs> when we first discovered that you could house sit anywhere around the world. It was like the biggest aha moment. And it's currently 60 countries that uh, we know of and it's growing all the time. But if you remember back to when we said that being in Dubai, we, we had that choice, like was it a desperation decision or a choice? Well, it was a choice because we chose to go house sitting in the UK first, followed by the long one in France. So knowing that we had six months without having to pay for any accommodation or utilities was like this oh, ultimate rent. breathing space. There was no, yeah, it was rent free it meant that it was an opportunity we simply couldn't say no to and that was really how it started for us and it really wasn't until we got to France and we started to really enjoy the lifestyle and went oh my god what if we just kept doing this like what would that what would happen with that I know and we were enjoying what house sitting entails yeah. because we actually had uh, three dogs we were walking them through the the woods there since then the house sits we've had we have had cats obviously and <laughs> uh, chickens but it can be any sort of pets um, you do actually pick up the mail for people you'll be looking after the garden the watering the plants inside outside cleaning the house um, you know we've had probably about 50% of our house sits we've actually had a housekeeper in Included as well yep, so we have. you know it's just really a case of keeping the place tidy but ultimately it's taking over the running of the house yeah definitely and it can it really you have the choice when it comes to house sitting of how much responsibility you want to take on you know, the listings will actually tell you what's involved what responsibilities are involved in the house sit so you choose from there so some people asked uh, do we have to always look after pets about 80 percent of house sits have pets um, you know that's one big motivation for a homeowner getting a house sitter in of course uh, so that the pets can stay just settled in their home uh, they don't have to be moved off to a kennel which also costs a fortune for a homeowner so now you can start to see why a homeowner might actually want a house sitter to come in uh, into their home even if it's a stranger coming into their home they don't have to pay kennel fees and things like that so it's saving them a lot of money but also it's keeping the the household running and they know that everything is taken care of and so they go away really with peace of mind um, to have their holiday or to go for business or to look after family. Yeah, it's complete security for the house. Um, it's win-win. That's, yeah. that's ultimately how you sum it up. It's a complete win-win. So this scene is actually one of our photos from a house that we did in Greece. And it was a massive property. Uh, it's actually one of Airbnb's top 40 properties. And we were able to actually have other people come along and have a direct experience of a remote house sit with all sorts of different pets to look after. So literally from our very first gig, we've been helping hundreds of people who have wanted to go travel, just like you and <laughs> planning to go travel or are actually already traveling um, we've helped them with getting amazing gigs in sought after locations all around the world and really it's been so interesting all the people that we know that have come into contact with house sitting and actually done it themselves have really started to realize the deeper benefits of house sitting I know they get sold on the um, free accommodation uh, aspect of it first because obviously that's its upfront benefit but then we start to get into deeper benefits as we go house sitting as well so for a start, you're not going to be looking out of a hotel room or at a resort. You're actually going to have the comfort of a home, um, which is actually really nice when you're traveling. Uh, you're going to have a kitchen, so you're going to start saving your, on your food bills because you're not having to eat at restaurants all the time, and that has health benefits as well. You're going to have slower, more immersive travel, and that's really what house sitting is literally all about. And those local experiences. You're not staying in uh, tourist areas now. You're actually getting off the local, off the beaten track. And of course, the unconditional love from the pets, um, which has been the biggest thing for us as That's well. That's what we love the most. It's almost like they welcome you into their home because they know that you're there to look after them. And it's just such a cool thing, which really has given us complete purpose to our travel now. And it just feels so amazing. It's a, it's a fulfilling feeling to know that you're performing a really important role and truly helping others while still getting, you know, everything that you want out of it as well. Yeah, and we've made friends all over the world. It's not just the people that we've actually met while we're house sitting, so the neighbors and the local community. It's actually the homeowners as well. We've actually stayed friends with all our homeowners because you have quite, you know, quite an intimate experience uh, with the homeowner in terms of staying in their home. 
the new experiences of culture and skills. The the style of homes that we've lived in as well have yeah. been truly incredible. And you know, talk about helping with your relationships, not just with your partner, but just even with meeting new people and and having I don't know different circles of friends almost. Yeah, definitely. And having certainty in your travel plans too, because you know a lot of homeowners will actually book up house sitters many many months in advance. Like we've actually. Uh, got a house it booked for next year already uh, and this is like 12 months out so we actually start to get some certainty in about where we're going and how, how we can route our uh, travel and one of the biggest questions we get asked is you know oh but if you're relying on house sits all the time and you know we do get back-to-back -back house sits a lot um, you know how do you how do you plan how do you sort of fit it all together and all I can say is somehow it all just works out it does <laughs> it really does so let's have a quick look at what house sitting has actually done for us personally this is going to be a little story in pictures here. So the yeah. unconditional love from pets and their owners. Uh, you know, we feel like we've got foster kids all around the world now, <laughs> and we love you know, so cute. We love staying updated with them, uh, and you know, on their stories and what they're doing, and, yeah. and of course the homeowners. It's amazing as well. the homeowners keep writing to us and telling us what they're up to. <laughs> it's really funny. We, and as we said, we've stayed in some properties that are literally like multi-million dollar properties that have. Ex extremely gorgeous views and locations uh, just places we wouldn't normally see you know these are off the beaten track we wouldn't normally go to some of these places and I think it's um, we've had such an opportunity to see things that are really different as well as meeting our fellow travelers and sitters it's it's a real community it's that kindred spirit thing you know just being able to to talk the talk I mean sometimes we go back to Australia and visit our friends and family and they don't understand us so <laughs> catching up with people that are of like mind um, is truly one of the greatest gifts that we've experienced yeah and I think one of the biggest things we didn't even realize would happen when we first started housing uh, that has been one of the biggest gifts is actually finding our creative flow because we now don't have to pay rent anywhere and no mortgage uh, it's given us so much creative space to create an income for ourselves as well and really mix with other like minds and of course the travel experiences you know we don't really like doing the whole bucket list thing. We're not one for sort of putting up heaps of photos on Facebook or anything of where we've been and what we've done. Um, they're for us, you know, it, it, they are experiences for us. It's getting banked away saying, that's where we'd like to go back to. We yeah. really enjoyed that place. Or we've heard about this place, we'd like to go there. Yeah, absolutely. So let's just stop for one moment. I want you to contemplate. What if this had been your travel schedule? And the other question is, how much would it actually cost you to stay in the places if you actually had to pay for them? Well, we estimated it would have cost us a whopping $123,000 to stay in the places that we've stayed in over the past four years, because some of them included properties that do get rented out for over a thousand pounds a week. And we don't have that sort of money. The, the point is we haven't needed it either. So we've stayed in wonderful homes and they literally have been wonderful homes in amazing locations and it's all been for free. Because really, this is the way to enjoy the lifestyle of wealthy travellers without paying for it. I mean, this particular photo of Nat walking down the beach at Samara Beach in Costa Rica, we had one month there. Yeah. And to have spent one month, literally a few minutes walk from the beach, I don't know how much that would be worth. I don't know, but it was pretty damn good. <laughs> Remember, we're not special. We actually started this whole journey with just $300. Not that we suggest that anybody goes out and does that. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> um, but uh, that was our path, and uh, so be it. But really, we simply made a choice, and we actually took some action, and that's really what this whole thing is about. And it was the best choice we have ever made, let yeah. me tell you. Yeah, totally. So along the way, we actually built a community of kindred spirits, and that's been one of the highlights of the last four years. And each of them actually have their own reason for choosing house sitting travel. So let's have a look at a few of them. Some of the reasons for house sitting could be just for vacations. And at the moment, that's what these guys do. They take short vacations, sometimes with the kids, sometimes without. But basically, they're still in one location, uh, like living at home as such, while the kids are still at school. But their plan is to rack up all the references that they can for house sitting so that they can hit the road as soon as the kids leave school and start having a nomadic lifestyle like we are. <laughs> Uh, Jen and Gay and Andrew and Christopher are just two examples of people using it in between other forms of travel. So just to break up their journey, uh, have a place to settle down for a little while, house hits are great for that. Uh, Ian and Vanessa, they get to settle down for a little while in a new house hit, have the routine as if they're living in their own place, running their own location independent job, 
but it can be in any part of the world. Uh, Tim and Lou are actually traveling grandparents and they are also really supporting the house sitting community with the house sitting world website and Facebook group as well. Taking time to write that elusive book, uh, which I know a lot of people sort of go, oh, if only I had the time to write the book. Well, house sitting is a great place to be able to do that because you're out of your normal zone, so your creativity is flowing and you've got space to do it. Yvonne and Michael, Alan Shelley, both have written multiple books um, so far and they're just loving the inspiration that comes from their travels. As a never ending honeymoon, we have mentioned Mike and Anne from Honey Trek. They're on the eternal honeymoon, it seems. <laughs> they never set out that way, but you know, this traveling thing and how cheap it is just keeps them going. Paul and Claire aren't actually married yet, but they're living the life of honeymooners traveling the world and it's probably been one of the best things for their relationship uh, has actually been house sitting. And of course our wonderful retired friends, Gail and Randy, Les. Les uh, house sits on his own and he's not the only one. There are single women, single men and obviously tons of couples as well. And what a way to spend your retirement because, you know, what is it? What do they say? 60 is the new 40. Absolutely. It's definitely... It is when you're out and about travelling the world. <laughs> Absolutely. So they're having a wonderful time staying fit and healthy and enjoying the, the all the creature comforts of home and the unconditional pet love as well. Not to mention that the kids are super jealous of their lifestyle. <laughs> and speaking of kids... What about the families that are on world adventures? So the Frost actually took a, an 18 month trip and visited Asia and UK and Europe. And now they're back in Tasmania and they actually have done a local house sit as well. But mm. the kids grew up and loved every minute of their house sitting adventure. Whereas the Tullis family, Rob, Tracy and Mackay, are actually still on their journey. They are continually traveling and blogging about it on their website, Expat Experiment. We just love seeing the kids out there and doing it. It's just so inspiring. Oh, it's incredible. And also the single people, as Jody said, um, this is not just for couples and families, but it's also for single people too. Martin and Lisa have been on the road for many, many years doing multiple, multiple house sits around the world and just loving it. And we love the people who are brave enough to give up the rat race. Belinda in particular left corporate America. It was a high flying job, but it also had a high flying uh, price tag on her lifestyle as well. Mm -hmm. And she gave it all up to be a minimalist and is now running her own freelance consulting business, pretty much just traveling around, looking after pets and having a wonderful carefree lifestyle. Yeah, definitely. Amanda and Andrew, another couple that uh, were spending an absolute squillion dollars living in Sydney. Uh, Andrew ran his own business, so he had factory costs. Uh, machinery they had their own house rent they gave it all up and uh, decided to get on the road they wanted to travel full-time and now house it full-time and they're doing that in Tasmania and Australia which has been their ultimate place that they'd love and the best part about going to you know a destination that they've always thought about going to is they're getting to check it out even sort of as that uh, where do we want to live type of experience yeah definitely then there's the permanent travel lifestyle. We've mentioned it a couple of times. We love what we do. We know it's not for everybody, but we have so many of our friends doing exactly what we're doing, and it's just amazing. Yeah, so I hope you can see through those um, different people that we've presented that there is a different way to use house sitting for so many different ways of travel. So what's the catch? Is there a catch? Well, yes, there is. Um, house sitting is not actually a free holiday as such. There is an exchange of services that goes on, like we talked about. And it really depends on what type of house that you want to take on. And that's up to you, what you choose, and therefore how many responsibilities you take on. But it's not exactly work for rent, though. No, not at all. While house sitting is for anyone, and we 100% believe that, and we've seen it time and time again with the hundreds and hundreds of people that we've helped out, we are very aware that it is not for everyone. Yeah, definitely. To be realistic, house sitting does have responsibilities. You know, you have to be there. Uh, you can't just go away for the night. Uh, you have to be at home. And it, particularly if there's pets, obviously, you're looking after that after them. Uh, but also, if you're not comfortable in somebody else's home, then that's something to take into consideration as well. But sometimes people don't really know how they're going to respond to house sitting until you have a direct experience. And that's what we really encourage everybody, is to have a direct experience of house sitting. If this really twigs with you right now and you're just not sure, it's like, go and have a go and see what you think. And then you'll know, I guess, firsthand. So the one thing you really have to be aware of, like the biggest catch in this whole game, is definitely that house sitting has become a hell of a lot more popular in the last few years. So the assignments that get listed now are actually attracting a lot of applicants. So let's recap what we've shared with you so far. We've actually showed you exactly how much it can cost you to travel the world even full time that it's possible to save massive amounts of money on your flights using air miles or just using flight hacking and how you can use house sitting to travel the world and not pay a cent for your accommodation ever again.
Okay, so we've had just over half an hour here together. So now we want to ask you a really serious question. Are you feeling like this? Yay! <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> we certainly hope so in many ways because that means we've got your travel juices flowing and you realize that there's a great opportunity in front of you right now. The house sitting is very doable for you and in fact it can be very easy to get started and have instant success. But like everything in life, there is no way that you'll be out traveling the world with house sitting unless you take that all important action first. Yeah look, the reality is if you want to go house sitting, you do have to put some effort in up front. You have to make the decision to go house sitting in the first place. <laughs> you have to get immersed into learning the best practices, getting your profile together, getting some great references and then applying for some sits. Absolutely, and ultimately um, all of this work that you're doing up front is well worth it because it's going to serve you for decades to come. I mean, when yeah. it comes to getting free travel accommodation in places that you'd love to go to, it's well worth the effort. So since 2013, we've been helping our fellow travel lovers all over the world go house sitting as quickly and as easily as possible. Because really at the end of the day, you don't want to be sitting there for months or years going through blog posts and websites and Facebook groups trying to get the information that you need. Yeah, that's right. We've done all the hard work for you. That's yes. super cool. So yeah. you don't have to do that. So we've <laughs> collated all this information together into one place and for years now our online course and private referral network the house sitting academy has actually helped hundreds of travel lovers get out there and become sought after house sitters that homeowners absolutely love and actually seek out yeah definitely so we created the house sitting academy purely in response to the Facebook group that we were running house sitting world we had that for two and a half years and we were in there every single day answering dozens and dozens of questions from people and of course there was experienced sitters in there as well sharing their wisdom and experience with so many other sitters yeah especially the new members coming in but if you've ever been a member of a Facebook group you know how quick everything disappears down the feed yeah. uh, so the new members were really missing out on this absolute gold this this wisdom that had been shared by all the experienced people and ourselves as well so we bottled it all we put it all into the house city Academy uh, and continue to add more and more to it because this actually is a travel lifestyle yeah definitely so if it's okay for the next 15 minutes we want to run you through what you can get inside the house in the Academy because this is the very thing that's going to take you from pure opportunity into the reality of actually house sitting around the world like we have done since 2013. That's it, it's time to take action. All right, here we go. All right, so let's start with the big one. How would you love every tip and trick in the house sitters book handed straight to you <laughs> to know exactly what the successful and experienced sitters already know? Now, these are tips and strategies that have taken sitters years of experience to learn through trial and error, many times costing them money and heartache from knowing what to do, what not to do, and the mistakes to avoid. So your house sits can always be a positive experience. And this is along with the proven secret methods for not only securing the sits from the platforms, but having homeowners approaching you to sit for them, combined with a flood of referrals and repeat sits to fill your travel diary with free accommodation. Nice. So nod your head if you would love this to be given to you. <laughs> Awesome, because this is exactly what will happen when you invest in the House Sitting Academy Lifetime Membership. Now in it, you're going to get access to the entire 10C Confidence and Competency System. That's a bit of a mouthful. Chock full of videos and proven templates and examples, walking you through every single aspect of house sitting, from getting set up the right way to performing the sit successfully, being asked back and getting referred to new owners. Really nice. And all this training is already in the members area waiting for you so you can get started immediately. Okay, so what else do you need to be successful in house sitting? Let's look at your setup for house sitting. This phase is crucial to your success, but it's amazing how many house sitters do not get it right. Yeah, and this is the real difference between someone who successfully wins assignments from the minute they start applying and someone who tries for months and sometimes even years and wonders why they hardly ever get chosen by homeowners. And many of them have to instead take on sits that no one else actually wants. <laughs> Yes, yeah, seriously, there is such a fine balance between underselling your talents and skills and overselling yourself in your profile, which is why we really focus on this in the Academy Setup Modules. So much so that we even gift you a complete standalone course on creating a profile that captures your true and unique essence and presents it in such a way that a homeowner instantly feels like they know, like, and trust you, which are the secret keys to being successful in house sitting. 
We also provide you with a complete mini course on creating your profile video. Now we've been told by our homeowners over and over, the number one reason they've chosen us over any other applicant was because they watched our profile introduction video and they felt like they instantly knew us. Yes, a profile video is unfortunately that important. <laughs> and look, as scary as it may seem to you right now, our detailed video course has walked even the shyest of Academy members through the process so that they feel comfortable jumping on camera and creating an authentic and heartfelt message to potential homeowners, helping them secure the sits time and time again, just like we have. Yep, our background and absolute love of marketing psychology for the past decade really comes into play in this section. In fact, we have spent thousands of dollars learning how to best market yourself and we openly pass this on to you in the Academy. We share how to build a profile and profile video that is unique to you, that stands out amongst the sea of other applicants and instantly builds rapport and connection, those really important things with every homeowner. And to help also cut down your time, we give you our ready-made templates for your profile creation, application emails, and sitting agreements, along with market-tested examples to follow for your homeowners' interviews, the checklist for selecting the best sits for you, and all the documents you'll ever need. Everything already done for you and proven to work by hundreds of Academy members. Really, what breathing space would that give you just to have fun planning your house sitting travels around the world instead of worrying about how to actually get the house hits? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's run through what you're going to get. There's the full 10 C confidence and competency system, access to all the templates you need for your profile, application emails and formal sitting agreement, all the checklists, including your contact forms and briefing documents, the top tips, the list and the best time savers and how to's and the quality and market tested examples for applications, profile setups and owner interviews. This package alone is valued at over $800. So the House Sitting Academy is now a live mentoring program. And I say now because it's actually changed over the years since 2014. On top of a unique step-by-step self-study modular course, plus a private referral network for house sets. And it's been especially designed for those that want to do international house sitting which as you probably know, has a lot more considerations than just domestic sitting. So things like language barriers, dealing with different cultures, even getting to the sit in the first place and the visas can actually be you know, difficult to negotiate. And that's not to say, of course, that we don't have plenty of domestic sitters in the academy as well. And since 2014, the academy has helped hundreds of singles, couples, and even families, brand new to house sitting, get successfully started providing not just the strategies for getting great sets and how to successfully travel the world with it, but the entire essence of everything to do with house sitting that ensures a sitter can fill up their travel diary with as much free accommodation as they desire. There have literally been hundreds of members with success straight out of the gate, applying what they have learned in the academy, especially how to market yourself, set your intentions and get what you're looking for. Just like Tracy, who secured two house sits in the first 10 days of registering on a platform after she completed the House Sitting Academy course. And they were in the locations that she really wanted. And as random as Alaska and Ecuador. <laughs> that was really cool. And Diana and Jeremy, who got their very first house sit that they ever applied for in the Bahamas, mind you. So this is actually a photo of the dog that they were looking after at their beachfront property. That was the beach that they were on. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. And we absolutely love what Tony has said about her previous plans before discovering international house sitting. She says here, I'm gonna read this one out. We were going to move to a retirement community in Tennessee in 2016 when we were retired. This could have been us, <laughs> reflecting about the photo there. Instead, we did the House Sitting Academy course and have been to the UK, Australia, Indonesia, France, currently sitting in Switzerland, and we're booked through 2018 throughout Europe. Here we come, Spain. Darn, I miss making those fall wreaths with the ladies club and the retirement community. <laughs> Just a touch of sarcasm there. <laughs> so SB says here, uh, we want to continue to learn and develop. So the Academy gives us the feeling of professionalism and connection to a community of excellent house and pet sitters. And then Amanda Turner said, such a wealth of information. A lot of it was very useful and I'm glad I have this as a reference in the future should anything ever come up. I think all of this knowledge and having the House Sitting Academy badge will do wonders for receiving future house sits. And we're going to talk about those badges in just a minute. 
Currently, the House Sitting Academy is the only forum where you can actually see and speak directly with other experienced sitters, where we can actually dialogue and discuss topics around house sitting and international travel, where everyone has a voice and the chance to share their wisdom and learnings for the benefit of all. And it's where everyone has the chance to ask questions and or vent if they need to, because it's a safe space without the homeowners there so that you can share your true feelings and discuss possible solutions to any challenges that you may be having in real time. Yeah, look, there's always going to be situations you may have heard of that one day you're going to have yourself. And there might be reasons that after 12 months of back to back house seats, you're not getting them anymore or you have a string of sits cancel on you all of a sudden and you're just not sure why. And it's when the things that actually go wrong and not to plan that we start asking those deeper questions and really want someone to bounce these things off, to come back together and see the bigger picture. These people really do become your family. They're the people that are experiencing the exact same thing as you. Only these people can really understand what you're going through as a house sitter, particularly as you're traveling the world and offer that true support or voice of experience. Okay, so let's look at the top things that you'll be getting lifetime access to when you join us in the House Sitting Academy. Firstly, and probably most importantly, is these weekly live mentoring sessions. Plenty of experienced sitters have joined the Academy purely just to access this feature, and rightly so. And as we've mentioned, these live mentoring sessions are currently the only regular live sessions available for house sitters to join. And they're the ones that allow you to be yourself, be seen and heard and truly feel like you're part of a tribe of kindred spirits who get you. You can gain confidence and learn from each other through sharing stories and direct experiences. Stop guessing and get your questions answered in real time. You can also get clarity and make smart decisions for your lifestyle, travel and income. Get your mindset right and stay on track. And even we benefit from this a lot of the time yeah. as well. And most importantly, have a laugh and make some awesome friends for life all over the world. Yep, and plus, of course, you get access to all of the recordings, past and future, in the members area for your ever-increasing library to refer back to any time you need it. So each week, we cover a new topic in depth, and each month, we discuss in depth the considerations for house sitting in a particular country. So we choose a country, and we discuss things like the cost of living, the best locations to sit, the transport, places to avoid, security, and even dealing with the culture. So we only actually started running these live weekly mentoring sessions that we affectionately call the huddles in April 2018. And Anne was one of the members who's been with us since the very start of them. And she says here, thank you, Nat and Jody. It was phenomenal to meet so many members and get so much information firsthand. I'm delighted that this will be a weekly mentoring session. I plan to attend as many as possible. What an incredible resource to be able to chat directly with the people who are doing this every day. Thanks for sharing, everyone. It was delightful to meet you all. Then there's our inner circle private referral network, which is available to all Academy graduates. This is definitely the place that the world's top sitters gather. As a member, you're going to enjoy top level international referral house sits, personal recommendations and introductions to homeowners, many sits that actually don't require applications and never appear on the platforms and 24 seven experienced sitters on hand to offer help and advice. Plus, you'll also get to rub shoulders with savvy travellers, many of whom might be names that you're already following, like House Sitting Magazine publishers Ian and Vanessa, who regularly call upon Inner Circle members to contribute to the magazine. The world's longest honeymooners, Microsoft-sponsored travellers Mike and Anne Howard, who are also the authors of Ultimate Journeys for Two, the book that they asked us to appear in with them. <laughs> And there's regular speakers at TBEX events, which is the Travel Blog Exchange, uh, such as Pete and Betsy Webker, and so many more. And we are a tight-knit community where we all support each other's business endeavours and creative projects and do what we can to promote each other. And as Amanda Turner mentioned before in her testimonial, we give you access to the Academy badges because first impressions count big time in house sitting. So when you add these badges to your house sitting profile and any marketing material you might have, so you might have your own website, they are the easiest and definitely the most direct way to show a homeowner you are dedicated to your sitting service and trained in best practice, further increasing your chances of getting the best sits available. Well, that's pretty cool. But OK, so what else can we give you to make your house sitting travels far more enjoyable? How about some cool tools and, of course, some discounts on the house sitting platforms to save you some money? You actually get free access to our partner platforms and discounts to house sitting platforms to find and book your sits and save you money as well. And as we add more partners to our list, you'll reap the benefits with your lifetime access. 
Another bonus that we'd like to provide for you is actually giving you access to what we call our Academy Enhancers Package. Over the years, more and more talented people have become members of the House and the Academy, each with specialised knowledge that we simply have to share with you to enhance your house sitting and travel lifestyle experiences. And what's really cool is that the House Sitting Academy has turned originally newbie house sitters into now very experienced and sought after house sitters, just like Gail and Randy, who joined us way back at the start in 2014. Mm -hmm. And they say here that they saved $10,000 in their first year of full-time travel, thanks to what they learned with us from both house sitting and what they've saved in their travel. But what's really cool is that they've had over $1,500 worth of value added to their package in the few years that they've been with us because this is an ever-evolving lifetime membership. And because of our valuable network, we get to bring the latest travel hacking strategies direct to our members. And we love doing this, which is saving hundreds and hundreds of dollars, just like Christine. And we've even had members save heaps on hotel costs by getting a perfectly fitting referral house sit to fill in any gaps. So many members have enjoyed that little perk. Yeah, definitely. Look, what we've discovered that since starting the very first community back in 2013, the sense of camaraderie, support and amazing friendships that have evolved are really incredible. One connection, one discussion, one tip can save you hundreds of dollars or give you the travel experience of a lifetime or even a set of a lifetime. So really do not pass this opportunity up to connect with your fellow sitters and travel lovers on a level that you will just not get anywhere else. All right, so let's recap everything you're going to get. You've got the weekly live mentoring calls, the Inner Circle Private Referral Network, Academy Member and Graduate Badges, the full online course with our 10Z Confidence System, free access to our partner platforms, discounts to the house sitting platforms. And remember, this is all with a lifetime access. And to prove to you there's no risk on your behalf in joining the House Sitting Academy, there truly is only a reward, our guarantee. If you do not believe the Academy is great value and helps you have better and far more enjoyable house sitting experiences, then simply contact us and we will quietly return every penny back to you. We really do only want you as part of the program if you are 100% happy that we enhance your experiences and give you awesome benefits and connections. So join us now. Everything is instantly available to you so you can start saving and benefiting right away. And to be honest, a lifetime membership is absolutely priceless. Forget about that $2,000 plus thing. You get this whole entire package for just $297. Simply hit the button below, or if you prefer, go over to the website, housecityacademy.com forward slash special. And that's going to take you through to the order page, which looks like this. And you're going to fill out your name and email and hit continue to step two. And then you'll see the rest of the form to fill out with your credit card details. Now, this is entirely your choice, but there is actually the opportunity to pick up a bonus membership with Nomad Fly. If you actually check the little box here, it will give you a hugely discounted access into this lifetime membership from Beck Power. Now, Beck has actually been teaching how to flight route hack your way around the world for a lot less than what you can actually book flights from the normal websites with. Now, this is not about air miles. This is actually about that flight route hacking so that you can actually save thousands of dollars, just like we have since we've learned some of these strategies and so many of our Academy members have as well. And what I like most about this program is that Beck's going to dive in a lot deeper than we do in the Academy in terms of getting cheap flights in teaching your strategies. So these strategies are not reliant on flights being on sale. They're actually strategies that you can use at any time to find cheap flights anywhere in the world to where you need to get to. We've been using these strategies and literally saving hundreds and hundreds of dollars every single year. So that's an additional $37 if you're interested, but either way, you need to hit that big orange button below that says, yes, let me in and we'll definitely get your access into the Academy within two minutes. So come and join us. Everything's instantly available. As we've said, you can get started immediately. You can even go back and look at some of those previous recordings of the huddles and lock in, make sure that you're ready for the next live one with us. It's all for $297 and you simply need to press the button below this video right now or go to housecityacademy.com forward slash special. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining us here today. We really hope that we've added value to your experience of house sitting and traveling the world. And thanks so much for giving your precious time and focus. We really have loved having you here. Absolutely. And we really look forward to seeing you inside of the Academy and on a live huddle very soon. Alrighty, bye for now.